Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys all the various car interiors and matching them to their particular car brand in Grand Theft Auto 5. So when we got a lot of these first person trailers and all the comparison videos from PS3 to PS4, a lot of you guys were very impressed with all the car interiors and how they were different, how the gauges looked, but a lot of you guys didn't exactly know what kind of car they were attached to, what brand of GTA 5 car they were. And I was kind of in a similar boat. I was like, wow, these all look great but I don't really know what car this is. So I saw a video on Reddit earlier today and I thought the idea was really cool. So I'm going to be breaking down all the different car interiors you see and matching them with their particular brands of cars in GTA 5. So our first car is going to be the Lampadetti Felon GT. Now this is the car that Michael actually gets into in the very first scene after that guy takes the selfie of like the kind of Master Chief looking guy. And this is the Felon GT. So this is a very great looking car. At first I thought this might actually have been his uh, car from campaign, obviously the Audi car that he drives, but it is the Lampadetti Felon GT, and this is a great looking vehicle. I did not know this interior was going to look so great, but I was really blown away with it. So our next vehicle is one a lot of you guys probably thought was the buzzard, but in fact, this is Trevor's Frogger. And you might be saying, but wait, how did he actually fire a missile at that guy? Well, he has someone sitting in his passenger seat or in the back hanging out of the window who has an RPG. And that's how these other buzzards are blowing up. But this indeed is Trevor's Frogger from the campaign. You can obviously see the take, you know, at the bottom where they're doing a heist mission right now. And this is something that was actually done in a Frogger. So it is a Frogger as compared to a buzzard and this is actually Trevor's helicopter. So our next footage is of another plane and this is actually the Cuban 800. Now I'm sure you guys knew kind of what this plane was. You get a pretty good view of the outside when Trevor turns to try to knock that guy off but this is the Cuban 800. It is typically the plane that spawns in Trevor's airfield and it also spawns in Trevor's airfield in GTA Online whenever there is a gang attack present and this is a very old school style plane but nevertheless the gauges still look great. They're obviously not as high tech as something that has a buzzard or a frogger or a laser but it's still really cool and you can tell the gauges are working that green gauge still says the landing gear is down so that is really cool and you can kind of tell the old school feel and look to this and as he rotates his plane you can see all the different gauges moving and working so that's something that's really cool as well so this next car is actually the Benefactor Serrano, and you can see Michael driving right here. I believe he's trying to catch up to that lady that stole the film footage from Solomon Richards, but this is the Benefactor Serrano. This is a two-door sports car. Looks absolutely great. Of course, it's in the Mercedes family, and this has a really great car interior, too. It wasn't really the focus of this scene, really particularly because it was like there was cars blowing up and you were chasing this other vehicle, but nevertheless, still a great-looking car interior. So this next one is obviously the Maibatsu Sanchez or Marabatsu Sanchez, however you pronounce that. Of course, you see this when Trevor is driving, trying to launch over the train, and it's also noted in a few screenshots. So there isn't a whole much of a, a real interior right here. I figured this dirt bike would have maybe a gauge or two, but it doesn't really have anything on it. So I'm guessing this is going to be one of the more basic vehicle interiors in Grand Theft Auto V. Now, a motorcycle with a bit more gauges electronics. This is actually the Dinka Thrust, one of the the DLC vehicles that we've gotten so far and this one looks pretty good obviously it is nighttime right now so it's a little harder to see things but nevertheless the gauges and the mirrors and everything on the throttle like the red buttons and all the signs on next to the handlebars I really like that I think the motorcycles really have sort of the best first person views really because they're not restricted by the rest of the body of the car so they look very nice and in my opinion the Dinka Thrust is one of the best looking bikes out there now obviously you guys guessed it in this scene this is the laser p996 jet and this is really cool unlike the cuban and unlike the frogger as you would expect a military jet this has a ton of high-tech gauges and it also has some things kind of on the windshield that display like your altitude how level you are you know what targets are if they're in the middle of the screen or not so again this is one of the more high-tech advanced interiors and displays that we're seeing really because it is a military deal and it kind of deserves to be such that it has like these high-tech components so I was very impressed with the p996 laser at first I thought it was the Hydra but you know I, I got my hopes up kind of so anyways this looks really cool and let's move on to some of the other vehicles 
So our next one was actually from the PS3 and PS4 comparison video, and this is the Bravado Banshee, and I'm going to play this a few times. This is essentially Franklin driving down the street, and you can see the Bravado logo come into vision. So this is definitely the Bravado Buffalo, or the Bravado Banshee, I should say, and this is a great sports car. Obviously, it's in the Dodge family, and I think this is one of the best looking interiors. You can also notice how detailed the leather in, in the seat is, so this looks great. One of the best cars in the game, and this has an awesome some interior as well. So these next few were only shown in screenshots. The first one is the Nagasaki Buzzard. This is the one that a lot of you guys thought Trevor was driving earlier. And the Buzzard is really cool in terms of flying helicopters. You can see how much glass there is and how little display there actually is as well. So you get a great view of the city, your environment, your surrounding, whatever enemies and vehicles you might be chasing. So this is very cool. The Buzzard is not restricting at all in terms of the gauges and material in front of you. So I think that's pretty awesome. Now, this photo right here was more popularly recognized for the car on the right, which of course is the Huntley S DLC vehicle, which pretty much confirmed that it was going to be spawning in traffic. But right here, we have the Shih Tzu Vader, and this is awesome. Like I said, I think motorcycles are going to be some of the best looking gauges in the game, mainly because you can see them so close to you. Like, you can easily tell that he's going about 85, 90 miles an hour right there. But you also get a great view of just all the different things and all the different gauges in your surroundings because the motorcycle it, it is less intrusive to your view so I really like this I think this interior looks really great and of course the Shih Tzu Vader is an awesome bike to begin with and our final one from screenshots actually comes from the GTA Online trailer, and this is the Pegasi Vaca. Now, this looks great, and what's awesome to note is all the interiors look to be different. There isn't one that matches each other, or at least in the different car families, there isn't going to be one that matches each other. But this one, as far as the Pegasi Vaca, definitely takes over kind of the Lamborghini style. You can see the carbon fiber interior, how all the gauges seem to be shifted towards the driver, and there's even additional gauges on like the kind of center. Uh, display console so definitely a high-powered supercar that's going to be the Pegasi Vaca for you and this is basically one of the coolest looking interiors that we've seen so far so again let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section down below if this is something you enjoyed definitely feel free to leave a like I would really appreciate it also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new and leave a comment down below on what you thought was your favorite car interior other than that guys like I said thanks for watching take care and I'll see you guys in the next video